The British billionaire's investment in the club was announced on Christmas Eve, after the 71-year-old paid £1.03 billion for the Glazers' efforts on Christmas Day. Ratcliffe, who watched United's game with Tottenham alongside Sir Alex Ferguson at Old Trafford on Sunday, has now made a bid to take over at the Red Devils, which is expected to be completed by mid-February. The move was made official on Wednesday at the New York Stock Exchange. However, the tender documents have revealed a number of clauses regarding the future sale of the Premier League giants. A separate filing with the U.S., the Securities and Exchange Commission says the Glazers cannot solicit or encourage new bids for the first year after the tender offer closes on February 13, without written consent. Ratcliffe Strollers Incorporated. But after the first 18 months, struggling Americans could sell United on the spot. Ratcliffe Strollers Limited would then have to sell all the shares it holds to potential new buyers. The purchase documents explain and explain the icing as follows. If the first parties occur, all the collections of companies are necessary to make the colleagues of companies and to sell the ordinary stocks of all companies. It also provides equal rats and the maximum amount paid to other shareholders of other shares in a week. The document says, if the seller is insured for three years, the trollids will receive more than $1.33 per share. This is the same as the price of this proposal. During this period, Ratcliffe promised that he would express confidence in Manchester's co-supporters and that he will do everything to bring the year of glory. He said in a statement, I wanted to write to you at this time, given the important role the fans play in the future of Manchester United. We acknowledge our responsibility as stewards of the club on your behalf. I believe we can bring sporting success to the stadium to complement the club's undeniable commercial success. It requires not only time and patience, but also the highest level of accuracy, and professional care. You are ambitious for Manchester United, and so are we. There are no guarantees in sports, and change can certainly take time. But we are in it for the long term, and together we want to help United get back to where they are at the top of English, European, and world football. I take this responsibility very seriously. As with all transactions, this is subject to the usual regulatory approval process and we do not intend to speak publicly about the club's issues until the transaction is complete. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for the latest Manchester United news updates.